we're working with 40 teachers throughout the district who are experts and content experts in the area of social studies. And what they're working on doing is creating um, proficiency scales based on their prioritized standards. So they've looked at all the standards for social studies at their grade level or in their specific area, such as US history, and they've decided which are the standards that are the most important that we spend the most depth in. And um, then we've asked for, they did that the last time we met, they've asked for feedback from teachers from across the county, and now they're taking that feedback, adjusting, making any adjustments that they need to, and then they are also then saying, for each of those standards, what does it look like to be proficient in that standard? And we're looking at a scale of a zero to a four, with um, a two being, meeting the basics, three being proficient, and a four going above and beyond. So then they're deciding what does that look like for a student to be at those different levels on those proficiency scales. So what we're trying to create is a scale that will allow a teacher where at whatever school who's teaching that content to know, okay, this is what it looks like to be proficient and to have mastered this standard and to be ready to move on with, with their work. Um, so that's really what they're working on now is creating some sample tasks, evidence of how you know that the student has met that standard. Our goal then is to move from social studies into the other content areas so that we'll move into English language arts, math, and science later this year. And we're focusing on our core areas first and then hope to expand eventually. Um, with the plan that by 2017 we're ready to roll this out and really spend a whole year doing professional development with teachers so that in August of 2018 we can truly be working through a competency-based um, standards mastery grading system. The best part of what I do as an educator is just those little moments with the kids where you don't expect them to get anything out of what you're saying because it's just a little thing and then it makes their whole day or their whole week or that's what they remember. I really enjoy interacting with students and satisfying their curiosity to learn and uh, experience the world in which they live. The best part of what I do as an educator is watching my students progress intellectually. Uh, I find it really rewarding to, especially in a subject like economics where the concepts can be difficult, the entire course can be <laughs> difficult, when students have sort of an aha moment of, oh yes, that makes perfect sense to me. So I think that would be the best. Well, it's important to prioritize standards because we want to make sure that we are paying more attention to certain standards in certain grade levels. If something has been covered hugely in third grade, when we get to fourth grade, we don't need to necessarily spend a lot of information on that particular task um, or, or standard. So you want to make sure that we're getting at the meat and the most important things that you want them to understand before they move on to the next grade. I think it's important to prioritize standards because there's so many things that we have to teach and it's important to put things in order of importance so that we know what is the most important thing that we need to teach and um, really dig deep into that. The important thing to remember about proficiency scales is that we are measuring students' mastery based on four different levels. Within those four different levels, we're using a variety of sample tasks to see where the student fits best. I have really enjoyed it because I think it's very organized. I think every minute of the day is either spent where I'm learning something from who they've brought in to teach us about this process, or I'm learning something from the other teachers that we're working with and the district members that we're working with. And I also think that what we're doing is so helpful to me right now and to my school in the future. I think that this is going to make our job more, I think, overall organized and where we feel like we really have ownership of what we're teaching.